Wait, 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 wait. So how did we get here? Let's take it back. I put a spell on you, and now you're gone. Gone, gone, so gone. My whammy fell on you, and it was strong. So strong, so strong, so strong. Bye, bye. I think people keep coming back to the I Put a Spell on You family um, because of the sense of community that we kind of create around the show. It's why I wanted to partner with Broadway Cares Equity Fights Aids because in doing productions like Broadway Bears or Broadway Backwards, that sense of community, that sense of artists all coming together uh, with a common goal was always at the forefront. And not only is it so much fun, but we get to flex artistic muscles that we don't normally get to. And I think anyone that loves Halloween um, loves getting dressed up and putting on a show. And so I'm, I'm just super grateful for everyone that does continue to come back and for all of our new friends that have been joining the family this year. I'm Katie Rosen, and I'm the producer of I Put a Spell on You. I've been doing it for three years. Uh, they brought me on at the beginning of September of 2020 during the virtual version. I was brought on as the Lion producer because I have film experience, but I also work within the theater community, so the crossover was really actually a perfect match for me. And so I was able to use my experience as a line producer for film and my love and experience in theater and join them together into the virtual album of I Put a Spell on You. From there, everything just sort of grew to two years later, where I am producing probably my first ever live show that I've ever produced. The first time I was a part of I Put a Spell on You was in 2019. Um, it was at Le Poisson Rouge downtown, and Jay had this idea of, you know, the, the Disney villain, Lady Tremaine, and her stepdaughters. He's like, this is what I want you to do. I want to do a mashup of um, Call Me Mother, RuPaul's Call Me Mother, and Bad Guy, and he sent me a recording of it, and I was like, this this guy is so brilliant, um, and I, it's Jay. I've known Jay for so long, so I couldn't resist. You can't say no to Jay. <laughs> the thing that really keeps me coming back to I Put a Spell on You is, is the energy. It's a massive production that he's doing, but when, when the leader is setting the the energy of the room. Um, it's it's contagious, and you just want more of it. It's such good energy, good vibes. Everyone that he has doing it is is so happy and grateful to be there. That it just makes for a really really fun rehearsal room, tech spacing, music rehearsals, everything. It's just it's just constant good vibes. Hi, I'm DW. I'm the creative director, producer, and costume designer of I Put a Spell on You with the Sanderson's Alive at Sony Hall. I've been the creative director, art director, or costume designer on every version of the show for the last seven years. Jay and I created this together as a random phone call of doing an album launch and asking me uh, to make him the Hocus Pocus Witch costumes seven years ago. And uh, now here we are at Sony Hall. <laughs> Yeah.
So as you can imagine, we were very excited when, uh, when we heard that the event was going to happen again this year. Fortunately for us, the business has uh, returned quite a bit. We're getting in uh, every uh, show in development or, or on its way to Broadway in-house and rehearsing as much as we possibly can. And in those gaps, uh, we found um, some space to where we could support this project once again and support uh, a lot of the rehearsal efforts that, you know, as you know, that go into uh, getting the project on its feet again. My name is Robert Pinzone. I am the current owner of Robert Cadabra. Robert Cadabra is the world's most unique store in the heart of New York City. That's our slogan. And it's a wild place. We um, are, well, our main season is Halloween, okay? But we are involved throughout the year with production companies, Broadway plays. Of course, it's, it's a great feeling to be able to participate in, in, in this fundraising. It's, it's like the least we can do for, for uh, you know, beautiful production like that, or for any production in, in the in the in the Broadway, um, it's a great honor to me. Hi, my name is Kyle Kruger, and I was the lead makeup artist and department head for I Put a Spell on You, as well as the Alcone brand ambassador. At first, it was to do a zombie makeup or a couple of zombie makeups, and that kind of led to uh, helping with figuring out some other makeup looks, which then turned into helping design some more makeup looks, which then turned into my company being very generous to being a sponsor for all of the makeup. I'm the co-founder of The Costume Studio NYC. We are a not-for-profit costume shop space that aims to change the way we work as costume designers and get more support and more funding for off-Broadway and non-profit theater companies. My co-founder Jennifer Parr and I decided to partner on this event and help achieve the 250 costumes that will be on stage tonight from pulling from our vast collection of stock and favors from friends and our staff and people we hope to hire in the future as stitchers, shoppers, and drapers to get them to work for a great organization and charity like Broadway Cares Equity Fights AIDS. This year, I Put a Spell on You is a massive undertaking. Our first year post-COVID, we have over 100 artists working on the production. We have 26 dancers and 25 plus lead performers, plus an incredible crew of choreographers and costume designers and lighting and tech and it's just been really amazing to see everyone come back in person, take off their masks, be able to give each other hugs, and feel the real energy in the room. Being back live after two years of producing a virtual event of this show was super scary um, and super exciting because what we'd done um, virtually um, kind of raised the bar in terms of production value and um, how we surprised the community with what we were able to create. So I knew coming back live, we needed to keep surprising people um, and keep upping production value. And I think we did, and we brought on so many more team members this year to help us kind of realize that vision. So the love in that room was palpable. You could really feel it. The support was there. Um, everyone was excited to be there um, and excited to kind of give New York City this new version of I Put a Spell on You. And it was, uh, it was special, it's still special. Uh, this event would not have even been close to possible without the generous support of our sponsors. Um, Open Jar Studios, Alcone Company, Abacadabra, The Costume Studio, Sony Hall, Broadway On Demand, Vita Coco, Groove With Me, The Muse Hotel, Mark Fisher Fitness, Schmackery's Cookies, and Pearl Studios. Um, they were so, so generous um, and were really able to help us pull off this mammoth endeavor. I keep saying to myself that I won't stop until the Sanderson sisters fly. <laughs> and so like, I'm kind of keeping my fingers crossed for 10th anniversary, here we are in our seventh. But yeah, I just want to keep creating. I want to keep coming up with crazy mashups of pop songs and doing parodies of Broadway tunes and bringing in massive talent to pull this thing off. I feel so grateful for the last seven years and I'm excited um, about the next 
seven years, I hope to get bigger and better um, and raise even more money for this really worthy cause.